humans! This week, in this video, we're building a fridge box. This fridge box. It's like a home for our fridge. Um, it was definitely a process. Definitely a time and a half. I did cry over this wall right here. So if you want to see the whole process, you want to see me crying over a wall, you should just keep on watching. Um, yep, it was definitely a process, definitely a time. It was something. But, you know, not the first time I've cried over an aspect of this bus build, but hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, is the last time I cry over the, an aspect of this bus build. So, you should watch it. You should keep watching. So we are about to put our fridge in the bus um, because we want to build our couch next, but in order for the couch to get built properly, we need the fridge to be in because it's going, the order of things is fridge, couch, wood stove. So we need the fridge to be in to make sure that we have the right dimensions for our couch so that we still have enough room between the stove and the wood stove to make that corner into the hallway. So we got the fridge, a sweaty me and a sweaty Jacob and it's going in the bus Jacob already got the outlet all wired up for the bus for the fridge so we're putting it in so that we can see exactly how it's kind of all gonna shape up before we start building we're gonna have a little box around the fridge so that the space above the fridge can be like our root cellar where we keep like the potatoes onions garlic things like that things that you don't want getting exposed to the light so they keep longer um, we're gonna put the fridge in before we cut any of the wood and all that, because then we can kind of see if I need to shorten the couch or if the couch is the right length, all that. Jazz, all that good stuff. So we are gonna attempt to get the fridge in the bus. It should be interesting. Is she still under the bus? Okay, how are we doing this? I need to take a break first. Okay. <laughs> My idea is... You tip it, I... kind of try and hit, angle it up, like, you know, you do yep. it that way. And then we have it on the towel, and then we can just lift it up once it's in, and move it around on the towel, and then it's not scratching up our floor, we can move it easily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. Three, two, one. Nice. What's your tool do? You're helping. Ready? Yeah. Still good? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Do the fridge. Parking it there for right now. I'll take a break. Okay. So right now Jacob is wiring up the outlet that is gonna live like right next to the couch. And he's we already cut the piece for like the back wall. And now I'm going to attempt to cut the first side wall for the fridge box. We're doing wall on each side. Um, which means I gotta do curves and scribing and stuff. So I'm gonna use this old scribe from the bathroom wall days and hope it's not a total fuck up.
take five. Except now, this piece, I'm talking to the camera. Take five. This piece is officially too short no matter what, so I'm just trying to make a perfect scribe. Okay, this should hopefully be the last cut and it's just one little thing. a bit of a brushing up with the sander and then we're good to go all right so that is done Jacob is fiddling with the fridge because we got the fridge for free because the freezer setting didn't work like you could turn on the fridge and it keeps everything cold but the freezer does not get colder than the fridge it is stuck in fridge mode it will not go into freezer mode which is why we got it for free and didn't get like and it's like a $20 part but we could also just try and fix it. So Jacob is trying to fix it right now. So we shall see. It's supposed, we're on like thunderstorm watch until like 8 p.m. So that's really fun. Yeah, so it's really sticky out here and stuff. Um, so that's good. Oh, it's a, according to the weather app, it is raining in Reading. It's not, but it's supposed to start raining soon, so that's fun. So I'm gonna pick up all the wood. All right, it's the next day because yesterday it stormed, so we had to stop working. I am now gonna trace the piece I cut yesterday and make the second wall for the fridge home, the fridge box. So. Hopefully I only take like one or two tries, maybe three, knock on wood. Let's get into it.
too short. I don't know. What do you want to do? Punch something. Cry. Sell the bus. Those and can all be achieved. <laughs> this is but it, the number's too high but we're making another wall this top wall that i'm tracing works we're making the wall for behind the uh driver's seat now that we paint this wall chalkboard paint. So that is what we are gonna do. Since it's the wall sitting behind his driver's seat, he gets to decide. We bought this chalkboard paint last year when we thought we were gonna paint the inside of our old door with this, and we haven't used it. So hopefully it is still good. I think it's because we never opened it. We got both. Oh, it's super dark in here. It's a good thing we have lights. Oh, right. Didn't really help the camera. My battery's gonna die too. We got both walls, trust me. Both walls are in, we just gotta secure them. Yeah. All right, so this is how the fridge box is looking. I didn't film it, but I added some trim all the way down. Some more trim on this side and piece of trim up here oh. I do plan or we plan on putting a shelf right here um I actually have it cut but I sealed it with polyurethane since we're gonna be putting a bunch of stuff on it like our um our root vegetables and stuff are gonna be stored up there so I just wanted to seal it and it is still very stinky because I only sealed it today so I'm just not gonna put it in right now but it is just gonna go in there and get nailed 
in and everything. Not that exciting. The box is done. Um, so the fridge will be painted at some point. I just can't decide what color I want to paint it and Jacob has no idea what color he wants to paint it but we know we don't want it to match the walls in the fridge box. That was the original plan but we've decided against that. So I have to decide what color I'm going to paint it. Uh, the fridge box will be painted later as well because we're so we're painting the fridge box the front of the couch and the, all the walls the same color so we're going to paint those all in one big painting session instead of painting doing a bunch of small painting sessions so it'll get painted later um but yeah that, that's what it's looking like i think i might add the box uh, in the, the shelf in tomorrow or something so all righty Oh, the lighting is terrible in here. Does that fix it? I don't know. I don't know. But I have the shelf that is going to go on top of the fridge. It is still kind of stinky, but it is less stinky than yesterday. So. And it's Sunday, and I have to uh, post this on Monday, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on. like that and then I have a piece of trim that is gonna go right here and it's also gonna act as you know a way for stuff to not fall out as easily so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now place yet so the trim's on the only reason I'm not gonna nail the, the um, shelf into place yet is because later we are painting the fridge and I think it is going to be able to remove the fr like pull the fridge out a bit and all that for painting if this is not in place but this is what it will look like eventually <laughs> we'll just do that later so all right, well that is it for this week's video. For now, the fridge box is done. We will do all the finishing details like paint and nailing this into place in a few weeks. But for now, this bad boy is done. So the video is done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot. And I will see you guys next week where we build our couch, which I gotta say is very exciting in my opinion. Just, just saying. Just saying. Bye.